FIFA Football 2005 would end up becoming one of the best selling games in the franchise across the board when it released back in late 2004. The game subsequently got releases on pretty much every known console and mobile format at the time, with it getting released on Windows PC, both the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, PSP, the Nintendo GameCube, Microsoft Xbox, even the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, and a multitude of different mobile devices even including the Nokia N-Gage at the time. And it was so popular as with previous entries in the series dating back from the early days of the PlayStation and earlier consoles. The game itself managed to sell above 4.5 million units worldwide by the end of 2004, with over 600,000 of those copies being sold in the UK alone and would receive a lot of awards, but would also miss out and become runner-up to 2004 GameSpot's best game category that would only lose out to to Colin McRae Rally 2005. So that will give you a clear picture of the dominance of the FIFA series during the early to mid 2000s as it was the dominant sports franchise in video games during that period. Yes, well, we did have the likes of the Pro Evolution Soccer Series, which, in my opinion, I would personally prefer, but that's just my way of taking on it. I always adapted to those games much better. And the Pro Evolution Series was going through its own iterations, with some games being excellent, but others being not so good. So it was kind of a mixed bag, whereas FIFA was fairly consistent. But they didn't really have to change up a lot in terms of the gameplay dynamics style they did gradually over various sequels especially coming off the back of the PlayStation 1 era there was changes obviously with the graphics but mainly with the likes of the control systems as it played and felt a bit more like the Pro Evolution Soccer series like no more did you have to keep tapping triangle to run with your character instead you could hold one of the shoulder buttons and that would allow you to run so it made it a little bit easier but you still had your typical examples of square was the cross the ball and circle was to shoot which would be the total opposite in the ISS Pro or Pro Evolution soccer games but for FIFA fans this would have been perfect as there was a lot of changes even compared to the 2004 version like you had updated team rosters managers various stats the graphics were vastly improved and even the gameplay style the mechanics and features of the game were a lot more user friendly and I found from my own experience that that was the case it was definitely a lot easier to just pick up and play and just have fun just in short bursts but even with that it had more than enough features and modes with careers quick matches tournaments that would definitely keep you engaged for quite some time plus as with the previous FIFA games it also was home to a great soundtrack that had very popular names with DJs and other types of bands that also threw their hand into the mix that just added to the overall dynamic of the game plus you also had John Motson and Ali McCoist doing the commentary for the game as well so fans would have been familiar with the variety that was on offer but also in many cases with FIFA 2005 being somewhat of an evolution in the franchise moving forward it would also be the last game in the series across a multitude of different consoles like when we look at the PlayStation 1 which ended its production line in 2005 FIFA 2005 was pretty much one of the last games if not the last game to ever be released on the system or last mainstream game to be released the game also did have online features but the online servers were closed in 2008 but when we look back then online gaming was still really in its infancy and while you could play games online with the PlayStation 2 it was very hit and miss with the likes of the technology and capabilities of the hardware at the time it wouldn't really be refined until the likes of the PS3 moving forward where that would become a big thing within the online space but still for the PS2 it is a good solid title it's great for fans of the FIFA series in general regardless of which ones you've played and in all honesty the PS2 like the PS1 before it is home to an absolute ridiculous amount of soccer games like I kid you not like there's pretty much something for everybody while you do have the mainstream titles like FIFA there's the Pro Evolution Soccer Series you also had This Is Football which was really a good competitor to those franchises during this period as well but at the same time when we look at it nowadays both FIFA or what's now EA Sports
sports soccer and the Pro Evolution or the eFootball franchise now they're still on the go whereas other football franchises have long since disappeared because really at the end of the day while other developers did try to compete in that space there is only two dominant franchises that will continue to dominate that and these games are part of that equation but they were the dominant force back during the PlayStation 2 period and even with the amount of games that were available people would still always go back to play either FIFA or ISS Pro or Pro Evolution as they were the games that everybody was more familiar with. I know for myself included while I did play the FIFA games and I did enjoy them and I loved the authentic nature and feel as it felt like real life re as close to the real thing as you could possibly get at the time with all the real stats player names and the commentary and so forth that was its best part but for me personally I was never as good at playing it I would always get destroyed in games playing against mates so I always preferred the Pro Evolution games because I always was able to play them a lot better and I'd always be able to give a good game against whoever I was playing against but never so much in the FIFA games I'd always get trounced but sure it is what it is everybody has their own preferences everyone has their favourites but these games were a catalyst to document people's favouritism towards certain types of brands and at least there was something there for everybody in all honesty so in general FIFA 2005 is actually a very good title I haven't spent time playing it even going back to it now years later it is a very very good title if anything it's probably easier to pick up and play compared to more modern titles so if you want something that doesn't really require you to understand or struggle with learning all of the new features that's just simple enough to pick up and play and have fun and quick bursts then this is definitely one of the best games you can get in that time so I would recommend that you try it out and it's still in many ways would still be considered as one of the best overall FIFA games in the entire series even to this day so for that reason alone it is worthwhile checking out and it's definitely one of the best soccer games on the PS2 hands down but I would love to know your thoughts on FIFA 2005 for the PlayStation 2 and what did you think of it or what format did you play the game on more particularly I'd love to hear whatever stories you do have of the game so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you would like to see more content around other types of soccer games that I've also covered on the channel then be sure to check out the playlist on the screen to see more of those games in action and I will see you all in the next one That's a hard tackle, a free kick given. Good header. Good throw. Oh, yes, he's got hold of that well. Defenders need to be on hand here. Canute tries one. Big opportunity there. Well, there simply wasn't enough space there. That's a dose of reality for them. Plenty of distance on that. Little header. Nicely done. Nice movement. Plenty of players back to snuff out this attack. And they just can't get the ball off him. Listen to this crowd. Yeah. Did well to keep it in. Well placed for a cross. Headed out. It's uh, almost a non stop onslaught here. A sign of weakness in that fragile defence. Canute. Defoe. Defoe. That's gone out for a corner. He's all on his own in front of goal. Oh, the keeper pounced on that so well. forward the ball headed goalwards but nicely handled by the keeper 
Would you believe it, John? That's the first time he's touched the ball. And it comes back to the defence. Brilliant. They're trying to get to him, but they just can't get a tackle in. Yes, what a chance. That's over the line, it's a goal kick. The final whistle blows and the score here is 2-0. You know, I wouldn't fancy anyone to score against this defence today. 